Hello guys, today I'm going to be making an in-depth video about Unturned's attachments because I can't find any videos that are updated and actually short and to the point. So this is my video. The first category is barrel attachments. There are seven attachments in this category and they all go on the front of the gun, aka the barrel. Military suppressor and range suppressor both reduce noise by 70% and increase bullet drop by 10%. The difference is the Ranger Suppressor can only be used on Ranger weapons and the Military Suppressor can only be used on Military weapons. The Military Suppressor is found at Military locations and drops from Mega Zombies. Here are the compatible weapons for the Military Suppressor. And here are the compatible weapons for the Ranger Suppressor. Suppressors are very bad as they are expensive to repair and break very easily even on no durability servers. Suppressors also increase bullet drop by 10% which is bad for long range fights. The Ranger Suppressor is found at Ranger loot spawns except on Russia and Germany. On Germany, Ranger Suppressors can be found in both military and Ranger spawns and on Russia only military spawns. The makeshift muffler is sort of like a knockoff suppressor which reduces sound by 20% and increases bullet drop by 120% which makes it awful. The muffler that is made with two tin cans, duct tape and a blowtorch is also very hard to get since it requires a blowtorch and by the time you have a blowtorch you'll likely have a maple strike. The next barrel attachment is the military muzzle and the ranger muzzle. Both reduce horizontal recoil by 20% and vertical by 40%. Muzzles also reduce bullet drop by 10%. The biggest advantage of muzzles is their ability to hide flesh, which is most useful at night time. The muzzles are compatible with the same guns that suppressors are compatible with. Ranger muzzles are found at Ranger locations on all maps besides Russia and Germany where you can find them in military locations. The military muzzle is also found at military locations. The Ranger and military barrel reduce weapon spread by 40%, which is how far apart your crosshair is, or the four dots in the middle of your screen. The Ranger Barrel is compatible with the Ranger weapons, and the Military Barrel is compatible on military weapons. The Ranger Barrel can be found at Ranger locations on all maps besides, you guessed it, Germany and Russia, where they can be found at military locations. The Military Barrel is found at all military locations, with the exception being Yukon, where it is found as a drop from Megas, and Russia, where it is found at Ranger spawns. Moving to the grips, the first one we'll speak about is the vertical grip and the horizontal grip. Both are quite self-explanatory, as the vertical grip reduces recoil vertically, and the horizontal reduces recoil horizontally. They are both found at military locations. Using a horizontal grip versus a vertical grip depends on the type of gun you are using, and generally people will say you should use a vertical grip for maple strikes and a horizontal for Zbeknikovs. For Zbeknikovs, I prefer the next grip, which is the bipod. Bipods are found at military locations. Bipods reduce spread and recoil only when a player is prone. The bipod is useless if you are standing up, but for prone PvP and long range fights, it is a good option. Moving to the scopes, there are a few scopes that I call the time scopes. So 7x, 8x, and 16x scopes. Then you also have the cross scope and chevron scope. 7x scopes zoom in by 7 times, 8x move in by 8 times, etc. The 7x and 8x reduce spread by 30%, and the 16x reduces bullet spread by 40%. 8x and 16x scopes are military drops, and the 7x is a ranger spawn. The less understood scopes are the cross scope, chevron scope, makeshift scope, and the military night vision scope. The cross scope and chevron scope both reduce gun spread by 20% when ADS. The makeshift scope is crafted with a pair of binoculars and duct tape, and one skill in crafting. The makeshift, the makeshift scope is less common because by the time you have the XB to craft a makeshift scope, you have already found better weapons and guns. The night vision scope is found in military locations and zooms 6x. The main use for the scope is its night vision, 
which is better than night vision because other players can see the night vision goggles but not night vision scopes. The scope also reduces spread by 20%. Sights are most likely the useless one of the most useless attachments because they do not magnify anything or give any benefits. Sights make it easier to see opponents when in first person, but give no further benefits, so I'll not even speak about them. Do, do, do. The tactical laser reduces bullet spread by 20% and can be toggled with a B key. The rangefinder displays the distance from a gun to its target, which is useful if you are sniping on a bullet drop server and don't understand the distances yet. Its prime use is when it's combined with a spotlight and a metal rifle rack to create a hostile slash neutral slash friendly sentry. The tactical light is useful in cave systems or sewers such as the Germany map. Do not use it outside as at night, otherwise you're easy to spot. Adaptive chambering increases a gun's fire rate by 1, directly increasing the TTK. The adaptive chambering is the chosen choice for PvPers, as being able to kill an enemy faster than they can kill you is a huge advantage. The final attachment is the bayonet. The bayonet is useful if you are on popular servers and you always need to have your gun equipped but don't want to waste bullets on zombies. You can also poke some fresh spawns with it. Alright guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe. If you didn't, dislike it, tell me why. Bye, have a good day.